For Pilgrim's Flower by Rachel Boast. Rachel Boast's Pilgrim's Flower is remarkable for its intense lyricism, its metaphysical warmth and precision. Although Boast's poems do not depict life in any autobiographical sense, they do show us, perhaps more interestingly, a mind in action, a mind that connects with an electric charge to place, people, language. In Double Life, a poem addressed to Thomas Chatterton, Boast speaks of the mutable self fluttering by candlelight, a phrase which might serve as the key to her project. It is the lyric moment which offers a way of understanding the mutability of both the observer and the observed. It is the lyric moment which permits glimpses of the fluttering connection between. Other writers are evoked too. Akhmatova and Coleridge are among those in conversation with the poet. The effect is to bring their writing, their thinking, into the present moment for the reader, a kind of layered time travel only the best lyric poems allow. The layers of history also emerge in those poems which look inside and outside the boundaries of place. The spiritual and the physical coexist in the stones of the cathedral in Caritas, just as they do in the sonnet in which they are held. And what comes across, half said, into all that space is that it's enough to love the air we move through. Rachel boasts formal dexterity, her metaphysical reach, the clarity of her language and music make Pilgrim's Flower a collection of true lyric poetry at its finest. Desperate meetings of hermaphrodites. In the hotel on the other side of the mirror, the chaise long dictates the poem of the film can only be a snapshot seeing as the film is a book, and as it snaps shut, it opens again on a random page at any moment of a keyhole or door frame through which you look for an unabridged view of whoever has left their black brogue and white stiletto in the corridor exchanged for a halo of the five points of a star, becoming the snap of a finger until... You're falling back through the smashed mirror into the room, or so it looked, seeing as the mirror is a poem, which in any case is made of water, finding the dripping statue from whose mouth all this had come is dressing up as you. Thank you very much.